Welcome, friends, to a word of hope for the memorial of St. Peter Claver. St. Peter was a Spanish Jesuit who decided to become a missionary in the Southern Americas. He landed in what now would be Colombia in the midst of a brutal and atrocious slave trade. There was a harbor there that was kind of the center at that time. And he was determined, in fact, called himself the slave of the Africans. He saw how they were mistreated. He saw their dignity as human beings. And he said, I got to do something about it. He didn't say, oh, the problem's too big for me. What can I do? He said, the problem is for me to figure out what God is asking me to respond in what is clear injustice in my midst. So what does he do? He feeds, he bandages the slaves once he makes his way on the trip. He catechizes, tells them of their dignity before Christ. He does uh, retreats for the seamen each year. And he also preaches to the owners about mercy. He did what he could for in the situation. Now, what gave him the courage in the midst of what would have been an over, overwhelming problem for most of us? He clearly had the heart of Paul and clearly took to heart the message of Jesus in today's scriptures. Paul talks about clothing oneself, putting on as God's chosen ones, heartfelt compassion, humility, gentleness and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. That's the interior aspect of forming that person in Christ. And then the gospel. Jesus says, I say to you who can hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. How do we do all that? This is the external part. If we are going to express our faith externally in good works, we have to deepen and develop and cultivate our faith within, with those spiritual dispositions we just heard about. And then we let peace control our hearts, as St. Paul says further down. And then God leads us through peace to how we can do what seems even a monumental task in the gospel, to love our enemies. So today, friends, let peace reign in your hearts. Peace is not the absence of conflict. Peace is the confident assurance of who is there in the conflict. So be at peace. Be resolved to let peace control your hearts and be an oasis of peace for others. God bless you.